Hey everyone, it's Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd, you know who it is. And I'm going to give some quick thoughts here on the new Pile album, A Hair Shirt of Purpose. Uh, these guys are a Boston band, I've covered their albums, their past two albums on the channel before. Um, their record Dripping, highly recommend that, definitely check it out if you haven't heard of the band already. Uh, this new one over here though, could also be a great listen for newcomers. Uh, it's easily their most dynamic album. The aggressive spots on this record, uh, whether it be Hair Shirt or Texas or uh, Ropes Length, uh, these tracks are so intense, so heavy. The band is firing on all cylinders with an amazing mix of indie rock and post-hardcore. Um, I would say maybe a little bit of noise rock in here too because God are some of the heaviest and loudest moments on this album, abrasive. Uh, maybe not all that experimental, but certainly abrasive. Uh, then, on the flip side, this record is just really bipolar in a sense, because, you know, th these intense moments, these aggressive moments, they were certainly toned down a little bit when I've heard the band's music in the past, um, as were the more depressing and somber moments on uh, their earlier works. On this album, um, they feel far separated from the aggressive tracks on this record, God, are the dreary passages of this album dreary and long-winded. The band really takes their time playing these just kind of um, very depressed uh, guitar passages that are very slow, very patient. The vocals are uh, performing in these really like elongated shouts and moans that personally... I mean, it, it does sound special. It does sound different. It's I don't hear a lot of bands sort of delivering these kinds of vocals on a record. I do think Pyle uh, really kind of brings a sound of their own on this album, but these vocals particularly, um, I'm having a really hard time kind of connecting with the malaise of the album. Uh, but still, you know, I will say it is kind of a unique and a special characteristic of this album, these elongated, sad, pained uh, vocals. Uh, and, and man, when the band busts into an angry track or an aggressive passage, it really feels like they just kick into high gear because it's such a significant uh, change. Uh, it's such a stark contrast. Um, I, I'm not sure, you know, there's so many things that I'm not sure about with this record. I've heard it again and again and again, and it's either I'm having a hard time connecting with the sadder, uh, more dismal moments on the record, or I'm just not seeing a whole lot of significant flow from track to track to track, because these long and very sad songs, and there are a lot of them on this record, they really kind of slow down the pace and the momentum and the flow of the album, and there's a lot of them. Um, they really kind of are patience testing in a way. I feel like the album is just a tad bit bloated in a sense. Like if they had cut them down to these most essential moments and brought some better balance with the more upbeat or I guess uh, more physical tracks in the track listing here, it would have been a better, more solid listen. Uh, but instead it does kind of drag on a little bit in my opinion. Um, so again, I'm either having an issue with kind of connecting or things kind of feel like they're dragging on a little bit, or um, just the sequencing, the flow of the track list feels a little off, a little lopsided. It's kind of difficult to explain because uh, from a technical standpoint, from an artistic standpoint, it seems like Pyle are doing a lot of great and creative things, taking risks, trying new things, uh, definitely pushing themselves harder than they were on their, their last record. This to me feels like a more logical sequel to what the band was doing on... Um, on dripping because it feels like the two aspects of that record, the two sort of uh, sides of the emotional spectrum of that album intensified and separated even further. Um, I, I don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing, but it's certainly a thing. And it's certainly how this album sort of reads and feels to me. Uh, maybe the track list would have made a bit more sense if there were more tracks here that sort of felt like they bridged that gap a bit. You know what I mean? Uh, but instead it's like you're either being hit with these incredibly intense moments or these tracks that are just like really trying to, uh, I guess I would say, troll the darkest depths of, uh, of the human psyche, of human emotions. Um, and, and beyond that, it just doesn't seem like these feelings ever really kind of come together, you know, in a cohesive way. Um, 
yeah, it's uh, I, I'll say it's an interesting album. You know, it's interesting he, to hear an album that feels this separated from itself in a way. And I'll say bipolar again. Um, but uh, I, I, I wouldn't say it. it's helped it out as a listening experience all that much. You know, it's interesting, but it's not necessarily all that pleasurable or, I guess, satisfying as a listening experience. It does become kind of, uh, I guess I would say, tiring and, and draining. Um, and maybe that was part of the band's intention because it is it is kind of an intense listen to uh, not only hear tracks that are this aggressive and tracks that are this depressing, but also be switching back and forth between these emotions uh, in such a kind of breakneck way. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll recommend that people try this out if you are an underground rock fan. And even if I can't sell you on this album, certainly check out the band's earlier stuff. Again, especially Dripping. Um, and uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it there. You know, I'm, I'm left with more questions and answers with this record. But I do think this album brought up some interesting things. I think Pyle took some cool risks on this album. It was certainly worth talking about. And I'm interested to hear in the comments and on social media what, what other people's reactions to this album were. You know, did you feel much the same way I did about this record? Or did this album uh, speak to you? You know, let me know. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, and uh, obviously there's a link down there where you can hear this record too for yourself. And um, that's it. Pile, a hair shirt of purpose, forever.